about to say welcome back ladies and gentlemen to some more pokemon unbreakable ties but why is this so down low hold up i'm i'm, I'm kind of scared for what's about to happen because there's no music playing no nothing like that there's something sinister happened to my boy um, um rodolfo okay never mind there we go but welcome back everybody Ooh, wasn't expecting that to be that loud where's rodolfo at hold on before so i guess flashing warning lights wait flashing lights warning for those of y'all that that can't stand like you know fla the flashing light shit but welcome back to some more pokemon unbreakable ties that was one hell of an intro uh we're back in this bitch and we gotta go look for rodolfo who i do believe is at the burial ground for um vesta who just got her head beheaded so i hope you guys are enjoying the series so far because some crazy shit is about to go down maybe something like super sentimental let's see what jiraiya can find out oh man we really gotta you know where he went bro you ain't, you ain't. You ain't even gotta ask anybody around here. Wait, to find Rodolfo, you have to ask the citizens of Lugano City. Okay, look at this. Only those with a blue exclamation mark will give you information. Okay, so nobody else can give me any more info. So let's see who we can find. We might as well not even bother asking these royal family grunts because they definitely not gonna know nothing. So damn, we gotta go throughout this whole city at night to go. Oh, wait, there's one. Hey, ma'am, how you doing? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. The fuck? I, I thought he said that these niggas can give me good info. This bitch just told me she don't know what she talking about. What I'm talking about. But hey, I can do this now. Oh, look. There's a rock star out here making mad noise. If she don't want to make that's playing this music, this da 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 da. Yeah, she's focused on her music. Do you know Silvano? He was the leader. Oh, now he's missing. Don't tell anyone. But one day I was distracted and accidentally bumped into him. After that, I could finally confirm. Okay, damn. Chill out, girl. <laughs> he left a bruise on your forehead. What? Okay, just spoke with the most horniest fucking like royal family grunt. Have I seen a boy with a ditto on his head? Oh, are you crazy? Oh wait, hmm? never mind. Now that you mention it, I remember seeing a kid like that. But for me to tell you, wait, what? Bruh, why you want your old dad? Why you want a veteran Joseph? You know I got a Pidgeot trying to fight me and shit, bro. Why you even want to fight me? Hold on, you turn beam. Thank you. I didn't do much to him, but he about to be real shook if he gets sent to the salty. I don't know why I said salty like that, but hey, look at, watch this. Salty can actually do this. Boom. Stone Edge on your way. Oh, what? I thought Stone Edge was going to be able to do a little bit more than that, but. There you go. All right, what can you tell me, boss man? All right, I'll tell you. Chill, chill. Yeah, relax. The kid. He went east of the city, you feel me? Um, but from there, he could have gone to like, you know, Retreat Park or the foggy Route 19. Best of luck with your search. Thank you for nothing, my nigga. Thank you for nothing. All right, so damn, why they got grunts and police officers? What the hell? A shiny Litten just chilling right there? He getting lit right there? Can she tell me any more info on that? I oh, never mind. So he's at the east side. Uh, I might as well just go to the east side. West side is, uh, west side is like down there over there. Let me make sure I'm not missing nobody. Is there anybody else in the streets that I need to talk to? No, 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 not at all. These damn motorcyclists, bro. I feel like I'm in the DR all over again. All right, let's go to the east side of the city and let's see what's going on over here. Any more detectives know where the goddamn kid is at? Oh, that's a theater. Hmm. Oh, hey, how you doing? Je ne... Oh, wait, je ne comprends pas. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. A petit garçon avec un ditto sur la tête. A little boy with a ditto on his head. Oh wait, it's just translated for me. I see. <laughs> his ass must be from Kalos. Oh, French nigga. Oui, oui, je l'ai vu. Yeah, I saw him. Oh shit. If you want to know, you'll have to beat me. Well, I don't even know how you understood that, but I guess he pulled out his Pokeball and shit like that, showed it to his ass, and then told him it's business. Boom. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so we might as well just switch right into Salty again. The fight. Uh, 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 this guy. Me a little Salty. Stuff rock. Quick Claw. Earthquake. Beam. Oh, come on, man. I should have did more. Okay, yo ass gonna miss. First of all, let me just do this hyper potion. Boom. Crunch you. 
What the fuck? We're not doing this, bro. Come on. Charm, Earthquake. What? This nigga can't be that tanky. No, we're not doing that, man. Come on, bro. You're not that tanky. You're not that tanky. Boom, play rough. You're not that tanky. Why does he deal? Why does he take so much? Oh, bitch, I was about to say. Oh my god, that bit for that fluffy, bro? What the hell? The people in this region are very strong. Yeah, you got it, bitch. The boy went to Route 19. Oh, okay, bet. That was easy. I thought, damn, that there goes my fucking prediction. I thought his ass went to goddamn is Route 19. Yeah, I thought his ass went to goddamn what you call that shit. Um, so yeah, he went to the foggy foot. But yeah, anyways, I thought his ass went to go see Vesta, but he really went to the foggy forest. That man really brave, bro. But he probably like deep in his feelings, though. That's the thing, though, man. He probably really regretting what's going on, what happened to Vesta and shit. Like he couldn't do nothing. He couldn't save her. He had to watch her. He's young, bro. He had to watch her get her head cut off, my nigga. Plain as day, like it was nothing. He probably didn't even know shit about that. But anyways, let's just do this. I hope this works on this nigga. Like, really? Uh, 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 get him out of there? No, that's not gonna work. Come on, Miggy's gonna have to go. Um, not 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 go, but he can't like guide the um, team anymore because bitch ass niggas like him. Oh, you're, you're just a regular normal type, aren't you? Boom! Get the fuck out of here, annoying ass nigga. Hell, bro. Miggy was chilling, bro. Doing good and all. He, that bum ass fucking like combo, wombo combo shit that y'all got going on. Welcome back to the team, Miggy. All right, what's going on over here? All right, let me go up here. What's good? We are the stereotype of ghost zone trainers, don't you think so? You'll see now. Oh, ghost, ghost type niggas, ghost and psychic type niggas. I got you, bro. I got you. Miggy's great for this type of shit. Thank you. I don't even gotta switch Miggy's ass out anymore. Phew, dust clubs. I thought your ass only had one mod. Like, is it every time I beat like one of your mods, you get a new mod, bitch? Shit should not. I mean, it would be really clean if they made a Pokemon game like that, or if they made like um like if they had like a boss that was a part of a fan game that was like that, like a ghost type boss. You know, every time you think that you beat that bitch, that bitch pulls out a fucking another Pokemon in the same during the same battle. That shit would be dope. It's like a little bit like, um, what you call it? Pokemon reset, which I still also got to keep playing too, where they have like different phases where they have like different phases of the Pokemon battles and shit. That shit is pretty clean. No cap. Bitch, that's not going to do nothing. Shadow ball. Really? You got to be smarter than that, baby girl. You're a fucking like, you know, ghost chick. Extreme speed. Ruby, what are you trying to do here? Let me see. Oh, no, nah, you good. You good. You good. You don't need all that, Ruby. You good. Extreme speed. You're already fast enough. All you got to do is just mega evolve. Dun, dun, bum, bum. I think I got to go up there. So, with that being said, let me see if I can just keep grinding some levels real quick. He said some shit about water Pokemon being on crack. Yo, OG, a child with a ditto on their head? Of course I've seen him, young one. How can I miss something so, so peculiar? The child went towards the cemetery, just followed his path. Oh, shit. Oh, I was about to go to the right way anyways. Damn. Rotom, again? Get your ass up out of here, bro. Yo, OG, can you move, bro, please? Thank you. Damn, they got sleeping shepherds and everything. Let's see what's going on over here, man. I know it's about to be real sad. Ma'am, how you doing? My grandmother left without seeing me become the best trainer in the world. Excuse me? The world is so unfair. What about me? Uh, I came, I came to see my deceased granddaughter every week. Wait, what? I said that shit completely wrong. My bad, ma'am. All right, well, I guess he's up here. Damn, it's about to be real sad, bro. I feel it. Ma'am, you all right? Have you heard of the old queen, Lena? She never seemed like a bad person to me, despite being such an important member to the royal family. I think her grave is in this cemetery. Oh, shit. It is. Damn. My former co-worker was taken out a few days ago because some kids ruined the mission for him in Cardinal City. Damn. I don't know who the real villains are here because to me, it was those kids. Damn. That's I, I guess that's our fault, but hey, he shouldn't have been doing the shit that he was doing. But hey, 
he was doing it to make a living hey what, what can we do bro we can't really do nothing oh shit it's her salazzle oh i'm about to cry already bro and who's this this that one chick's on um, grave right here the queen of akebia that is her grave lena armstrong damn that's sad all right well there he is right here yo oh shit salazzle i see salazzle is protecting what's left of vesta we understand you perfectly salazzle i'm sure you know it but vesta she won't be coming back sa I went through the same thing a few years ago. I saw a friend fall into the hands of the enemy while I was moving farther and farther away from him. D I've always thought I was a coward and a selfish person since that day. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't be here fulfilling my own dream. Unfortunately, I couldn't spend much time with your friend, but one night alone, but one night alone with her made me rethink my life. From what Vesta told me, I understood that she must have gone through something similar to me. It's possible that she was also orphaned without family and friends to rely on. Going by last names, that tombstone must be her mom's, am I right? Damn, Sa. She knows, that's right for sure. I see, now it makes sense. Maybe she saw herself in me, and that's why she wanted to cheer me up no matter what. And thanks to her, now I know I can't falter so easily. Something I've learned, whether from my friend Shadow or Vesta, is that death has a meaning. They sacrificed their dreams so others could fulfill theirs. But is that morally correct? That's why I keep thinking I should fulfill Shadow's dream, but it's not what I want to do. I guess it's too complex for a kid like me to overthink. Although it hurt to see her execution, we should be proud of Vesta. I know she fulfilled her mission. She died with a smile on her face. Damn, sah. Ditto. If we had both grown up in the same era, I'm sure we would, we would have gotten along great. I guess you'll stay and guard the place, right? There you go. Yes, Alazel. Guard it. I see. You'll accompany them even in death. It shows that your bonds will never disappear. We'll leave you alone, Salazzo. Thanks for letting us be with Vesta one last time. Oh, it wasn't really as sad as I thought it would be. We have somewhere to be. <laughs> Goodbye, Salazzo. It was a pleasure. Damn, later, Salazzo. <laughs> you should know you're terrible at hiding, Jirai. Wait, what? Damn, nigga. Did he notice me? I've gotten used to Ditto's ninja techniques. <laughs> Good one. Hey. What are you doing here? Did you hear everything I said? We were looking for you. Ha! I knew I was the protagonist of this story. Everyone cares about me. Dickhead. So, what do you think about what you heard? Fulfill your own dream. Yes, but my friend sacrificed himself for me. I feel like I owe it to him to fulfill his dream. Shadow put your dream above his own. I don't think he'd want you to waste it like this. I see. I never saw it that way. I'd be disappointing Shadow if I didn't honor his last words. Although now my goal is tied, tied to Ditto. Things have changed. Hmm? If you want to know more, we'll be waiting for you in the poor neighborhood. Wait, what? Bye, Magikarp. What? Magikarp? Where could that be? I have to find it. Bro, come on, man. What's good? Oh, so that's a chill out. In the end, I was the one, oh yeah, I was the one who thwarted her mistress's plans. She won't have a good memory of me. Sorry, um, Salazzle, it wasn't my fault, you know, like, <laughs> it was business, bro. Business is business. She has to understand, bro. I, well, I, I don't think she probably will understand because she is a Pokemon one. And I did, you know, I was one of the reasons why her peoples got fucked up. All right, so this nigga, he said something about Poor neighborhood, poor neighborhood. Where am I gonna find the poor neighborhood at? Is that it could be somewhere over here? This this spot looks pretty poor. No, never mind. It's the retreat park. Wait, hold on. This is that one park. Um, that one buddy took took um Princess Lena. God bless her soul too. 
Um, I'm fighting with my twin brother. Get out the way. Okay, fucking hell. Um, so poor neighborhood. Where would that be at? Poor neighborhood. I don't think it would be inside this park. No cap. The way Probopass was looking at me, I doubt it will be inside that park. But that's a good looking park, though. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, 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 uh. Yo, would you so happen? Okay, I guess the gym isn't available right now, but they got some shit going on with the theatrical tours. What's good? Okay, no, never mind. So we actually do gotta look for this poor neighborhood because Rodolfo, for some weird reason, he wants to tell us something. That he couldn't just tell us while we was in the cemetery. We, we had plenty of, like, you know, good opportunity right there. If we're going to go to a poor neighborhood, it's probably got to be in the south. Oh, it was here where we first met. Right, Ditto? Oh, shit. He, he's from Lugano City? Oh, okay. So this is like Rodolfo's story. Ugh, I'm very hungry. At least I have that bread I kept from, um, from the orphanage a couple of days ago. But it's the only thing I have. I have to find a place to get some more food. Soon, soon. I knew that was the poor, this was the poor neighborhood. Shit, a dead end. Damn it, I messed up. All right, Zoro. I can't stand it anymore. I want to eat that piece of bread. Oh, no. Who's there? A Pokemon? Wow, it's a Ditto. So cool. It looks like gum. Can I eat it? D what is a Pokemon like you doing in a dumpster? What the hell? Was that your stomach? Aw, oh, damn. Seems very weak. There you go, Ditto. Ditto got shook. It's for you. You can eat it. D you better eat it before I eat it myself. God damn, nigga. That Minecraft eating. He ate the whole shit. I see. I hope you're happy now. Tell me, why are you here? I won't lie to you. I don't understand anything you're saying. I was about to say. I thought he did. So, are you lost or something like that? Oh, so you're lost. Do you remember where you came from? I see. You don't know how to get back home either. Ah, Ditto, I have an idea, you know? Great idea. My wish is to travel the world with Pokemon and live great adventures like this man called Ash. So I'll help you find your way back home. And I can travel to Kebia. What do you think? Oh shit, so that's how they came to be. Come on, Ditto, hop on. Our great adventure begins now. And he's not hungry no more? He's not gonna get nothing to eat? Let's go see the world, Ditto? Oh, okay, there, there we go. I was about to say. Yeah, go get you some breakfast, bro. Get you a little side job, if anything. A little, oh. And so that's how I met Ditto. I thought it was gonna be longer than that. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So this is the poor neighborhood? I thought it was gonna be like... You know, oh, wait, I see the stairs going into the fucking, like, apartment buildings. The fucking, like, you know, Section 8 homes. I see them. I see them. Since then, we've been inseparable. And I traveled everywhere looking for its home. And I guess that someday I'll discover where it come from. Anyway. Oh, shit. I, I seen that, that, um, damn. I seen that last piece of, like, you know, darkness. That one, you know, bitter truth that's gonna come through at like the end of every fucking journey uh damn anyway i'm going to sleep kids should be in bed by now good night jiraiya yeah you know one day he's gonna end up finding but rodolfo that means when you return ditto to its home perhaps you'll have to say goodbye to it yeah i know that was the thing i should get back to the hideout it's getting it's gotten so late facts bro it's gotten way too late i don't even know where the casino's at anymore let's see we gotta run back to this bitch quick gotta get some sleep and everything we don't we don't know what's gonna happen um if i can remember where the casino's at i'm not gonna lie to y'all i do not know where the casino's at i think it could be it's up here right yeah it is because i remember that little shit right here um let me see this the casino nope it's the company that breaks the fourth wall 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 this is the casino right over here up here i think Somewhere over here, bitch. Bitch, that's the royal palace. That's not the cut. <laughs> that's not the casino, my nigga. Hold on. All right, phew. There we go. We found it. Boom. Casino time, baby. I'm about to win some good money. All right, flashing warning lights again. Keep saying that shit wrong. Flashing lights warning again, y'all. Flashing lights warning again. Let's go inside this bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excuse me, brother. <coughs> Back into the hideout we go. Meanwhile. Oh shit, this nigga got caught again? Does that mean that old man is my real father? That's right, 
and the blood of the Armstrongs run through your veins, through Lena. That's why you should be dead. Both of you should. But it seems that Amethyst failed to accomplish her mission. It's a miracle you're here. How can you explain all this so calmly? You took my family away and even separated me from Derek after what happened. That's why I left the royal palace. I'll never forgive you for what you did to Edward and Mom. I'm already an, an adult and I decided and I decide what I want to do. I'll take Derek away from this place. It seems that you're not in the best position to demand anything, Lilith. Would you rather return home and spare your own brother's life? Bastard! Who do you think you are? I will not allow a llama to go through that same thing again. <laughs> Can you, can't you even comprehend the situation you're in? You have no right to ask for anything either, Derek. Neither you, now, neither you nor Lilith matter to us anymore. We don't care what happens to you. Big sister, I'm sorry to tell you that you have no choice. Tell me. Where is the Latios orb? I already told you, I don't know. And even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. There's no need to lie. We know perfectly well the relationship you've had between Latias and Latios. He revealed it to us a long time ago. <laughs> That's right. Who the fuck? That, that voice. Oh, this little nigga. Uh, Aldrich. Now, you know, princess. It was me who was passing the information you were giving me on the um you were giving me about the Eon Pokemon. I really trusted you. How could you? Trusted in me? Even though I was your butler and only even even though I was your butler and only supporter? You only cared about that stupid detective. I felt helpless and useless in my own job. I was always there when you needed me, but you left my side. And even when I wanted to lend you a hand because of what you were going through, you decided to leave the palace. Wait, what are you trying to say? Aldrich, damn it. Alama trusted you. When I get my hands on you, I'll rip off that mustache right from your face. They always go for this nigga's mustache. Shut up, Bright. You only have a few hours to live. This has been my own revenge, Lilith. Yeah. This has been my own revenge, Lilith. And it got more satisfying when your sister Estella promised to promote me to Celestia if we managed to use the power of the orb. She is now my only princess. I, I, I didn't know you even felt that way, Aldrich. If I had known, I, I, I don't want your apologies now, ho. I don't care. Damn, bro. Shit. Now I'll dedicate my life to Estella, who will allow me to reach the kingdom of heaven. Weird ass nigga. So reveal it once and for all, Lilith. Where is the damn orb? Our patience is running. Um, our patience has a limit. What the fuck? I don't care what you do. It won't do you any good. I'll never tell you. Damn. I'm sure that even if her life was at stake, she wouldn't tell us. But it doesn't matter. That's why we have our little brother's life to bargain with. What do you mean by that? I was so happy when Derek came into my arms this morning. Our plans just got accelerated. William, it's your turn. All right. Damn, William, what you about to do? Why you crack your neck and then you bring out Machem to do um, the dirty work? No, no, wait. Just do it. What is that Machem planning to? Boom. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Bastards, what are you doing to Derek? Let him go immediately. Ah, we'll only let him go if you tell us what, what we want to hear. Alama, don't do it. Both Akabi and Latios don't have to suffer the consequences of my existence. Let me hear. Boom. And it's a Machamp too, bro. You know that attack. That them attack points is probably like breathed like crazy. You know them attack points is crazy as fuck. I'll tell you where it is. Smart choice, big sister. Oh, I'm going to destroy you. A few minutes later. What the hell? Get out of here. 
That's right. Or do you want the Celestial Dragon to come down and finish you off themselves? We won't believe those lies anymore. We believe in the words of Vesta. We've come to burn the palace. We're fed up. We're not afraid anymore. Seems Vesta's words have finally reached um, some consequences. We'll have to get rid of them somehow. Go away. We don't care how many of you come out to fight. We'll attack the palace anyway. Burn the palace down! Burn the palace down! I hope you have plasters at home. And so, they all ended up hospitalized. Oh shit, the next day. Come on, Jiraiya, wake up, you lazy bones. We have a meeting with that old man and the girl with the guitar. We'll be waiting for you in the room from yesterday. First of all, I'm not old. Relax. And second of all, that's it, everybody, for today's episode of Pokemon Unbreakable Ties. Things are starting to get juicier. I want to destroy Estella. I want to destroy Henry. I want to destroy... You see the way they that they doing Derek, bro? Nah, them niggas, they got to go, bro. They got to go. They got to go. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's beautiful episode of Pokemon Unbreakable Ties. If you want to see some more of the Unbreakable Ties and see some more of what happens, leave a like down below and let me know in the comments if you want to see some more. I mean, I mean y'all can comment if y'all feel like it. You don't really have to comment. I, I just be saying that just to say it as a YouTuber, but I do enjoy the fact that you guys probably enjoyed today's episode. If you did, I'm glad. Subscribe for some more Pokemon action. If you're new around here, I will catch you on that next episode or video. Peace. Uh, uh.